Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is MongoDB full tutorial series for beginners. Today we are going to learn how to create and how to drop databases. That's the very first thing you would learn in MongoDB. You'll have to work with databases, so obviously you should know how to create and how to drop databases as required. But trust me, in real time situation as a developer, you would never be doing these because it's not allowed for developers to create or drop databases at will. You will never have those permissions, right? But having said that, you should be aware of what, how, and why to do it, right? So in this part, you'll learn how to create a database locally, how to drop them. This is part six of MongoDB full tutorial series. Welcome back. The, the playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. I have planned around 21 tutorials for you which includes hands-on examples and live tutorials. All right, so we are in the sixth episode. If you have missed out on the previous episodes of installation, connecting via MongoDB, Visual Studio Code or Terminal, make sure you go through it because this episodes require you to know that knowledge. All right, so the hands-on example series are starting from this episode. We will be doing a lot of practical work. So I will be showing you in both ways. Uh, in the interest of our inter in the users, a lot of you have been asking me, how do you cover with Compass app? How do you cover with Visual Studio Code Terminal? So I will cover, try and cover both. Uh, let me know if you have any issues, any doubts. I will be happy to help you, All right? Okay, so the first thing, uh, creating and dropping databases, right? So in MongoDB, to create a database, the command is pretty simple. It's just running the command use followed by the database name. If the database is available, it will select it. Else, it will just create a new database, right? That's for creating database. Now, remember the moment you create a new database, it will not be visible to you, right? It's created, but it's not visible to you because there are no documents inside it. There is no data inside it. So when you run the command and you don't see it, don't panic, okay? It's working, it's there. It's just that you don't see it because there is no documents inside it. Similarly, if a database exists, if you have moved it, just make sure that we see a message which says switched to DB followed by the database name that you have given, right? So let's see that in action. Uh, before that, let's also cover this command to remove the or drop the database, right? So to drop the database, we will write db.dropdatabase. That's the command that we have to run, right? So let's get started and I'll show you first with Compass app. So this is the Compass app that was installed along with MongoDB. So uh, the host name is always localhost and the port number is always 27017 in local. So once you connect, you would see the UI. Okay, so this is the UI that you will see and it will tell you you're running in localhost on this port number, right? And then you will see the list of databases that you already have on your left hand side. To create a new database, you can click on here and give the database name. Now database name, let's say I'm going to create a database for say, what do you call it? Uh, say contacts, right? I want to create a simple database for contacts. Now you try and create, it will create and it says invalid name, invalid namespace, right? So I'm going to so what I'm going to do is we'll create a new database and apply collection name. I'll say database name, I'm going to call it CRM and collections name, I'm going to call it contacts. So now you see it will create a database called CRM and here, and it has created a contacts collection, which is currently empty, right? There is nothing in it. So this is how you can create a database in MongoDB Compass app, right? So this is using Compass app. So what we'll do now, I'm going to drop it, right? Now I'm going to drop it because I'm now going to create the same using the terminal, which is Visual Studio Code. And how do we do that? Let's see that, right? So we have it here. Now we have the, I showed you in the previous episode that this is how we can add up to our connections, right? So we saw that we can connect the connections. We have the local host. So we click on it and expand the and see the databases, right? 
So in the previous episode, we have seen how to start it. We have gone through the folder where it is hosted and then hit mongo.exe. It will open up the terminal, right? So once you have the terminal, the first thing I'll do is show databases. What it will do is it will show me the list of databases they are currently existing, which is same as here. Now I'm going to write the command and say use CRM, right? So now it says switched to dbcrm, but you don't see it here. Even if you refresh, you will not see it. So don't panic because the database is there. We, we, since it doesn't have any collection or data, that's why it's not visible here. The moment we insert something, you would be able to see them. Okay. Even if you write show databases, you will not see CRM because there is no data here, but this command is correct. You are able to create it, right? So if I say use CRM, it says switch to CRM, but again, it is not visible because data is not there. We will learn how to use that. So don't worry. Now we can say, if you, once you say DB, so once you say DB, it shows you which database you're working with. It's when you type DB command, it shows CRM. That means the database CRM is selected. So now I'm going to say DB dot drop database right it's a method so now it says okay one right so now you see db right and say show databases it will not show but it's also deleted right since it doesn't have any data so remember to create a database you'll use the command use database name it will not be visible to you unless you insert some documents or collections inside it to make sure that which DB you're working in, make sure you type the command DB. Now let me show you that one last time. So I have a DB here testing. It has some data. It has some documents. I'm going to show you how, how this works. So I'm going to say use testing DB. So now it says switch to DB testing DB, right? So now I'm saying DB dot drop database. So it says dropped testing db okay one now refresh this and you see that it's gone right the database testing db is deleted right so that is how you can create or drop any databases so go ahead create your own database create your, and drop them learn these commands learn how to use it in compass learn how to use it in graphical interface as well as in terminal because you will want to understand learn and pra practice the commands that are used in MongoDB, right? So the commands that we saw today are pretty simple and straightforward. We have seen today, use first show databases, right? So this will list down, list all databases in MongoDB. That's number one. Number two, we have, when you type use database name, it will select the database workspace as current working DB. Okay. Third, we have seen is when you type DB command, it will show you the database you are working currently in. Right. And then we have seen so we can also see this use database has two methods, right? It has two behaviors. One is to select if it's there. If not, it will create, but, but it will not display till we add some collections slash data inside it, right? So remember that. All right, so that was number three. So number four is now the fourth one is if you want to drop this particular, so to drop, to delete or remove any database, first you first to drop a database, first we need to select the DB using use command, right? Use database name. Then we will run the command DB dot drop database. Right. If you run this, you would be able to create and you will be able to drop databases in 
MongoDB. Now I want you as a homework, right? As your homework, try this out with three things. One, try with Compass app, which is your GUI tool. You can, you should also try with Visual Studio Code extension. Okay. Third, try running the commands in the terminal. Right. So when you start doing that, I trust me by the end of the series, you will be able to master MongoDB. All right. So that was all about for today's episode where we learned about creating and dropping databases. In the next episode, we are going to learn how to create and drop collections. A very, very important concept. If you have, if you are still not sure about the concepts of database, collection and document, refer to the previous episodes where I have covered in detail about that. That will help you solidify your knowledge. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.